out right now to go do some antiquing. I'm super excited for some fun finds. Um, I'm looking for a lot of wood pieces, maybe some wicker. I kind of have enough, but maybe more, never too much wicker. And I'm gonna transform them into some really cool DIYs to sell to you guys. Another day, another thrifty find. I am on my way to do some antiquing and I'm very excited for what I'm about to find so I can make it look beautiful for you guys. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. A drink is needed. I am about to start. Um, oh, Garce is here. She say hey. Garce, say hi. Say hi. Oh, hi puppy. Our garage is finally cleaned out. So now I'm gonna start restoration on my antique rocking chair from Texas. I'm super excited about it. So is Garcia. Uh, I was gonna keep the fabric, but then I decided it was really, really, really disgustingly dirty. And it kind of skewed me out. So I'm just gonna rip it all off, start over. Hopefully I can find some really nice, like almost leather brown type fabric to put over it. But yeah, we are redoing that whole thing. Hey guys. Garcia and Alana here. We are finally starting our restoration on our 1960s rocking chair. So initially I know I said that I was going to keep this um, nice fabric because I really like the color. But as you can see, like it's very stained and disgusting. So I've gone the route of reupholstering the whole thing and then I'm gonna sand it down and just make it look like a whole new chair. So I've already uh, started. <laughs> She's gonna be your tour guide today. I've already started by ripping out all the upholstery tacks and the um, trim that was on here and pulling this kind of apart. I still have to take it all off. Yes, she's so excited. And it's really gross. I'm happy I'm, she is very hyped about this. Uh, she loves this rocking chair and she can't wait till it's done. Look at, she is the most excited client I've ever had. Garce, what do you think's under there? Some disgusting stuff. We gotta get it out, and then we can reassess what we need to do to the rocking chair to make it look beautiful again. Garcia, are you gonna help me today? Do you wanna help me? Come on, do you wanna help me rip this off? Come on, come on, we need help. You gonna help me with the rocking chair? <laughs> She's like, hell no, mom, it's moving and it's scary. Hey, Ripping off all this disgusting stuff, I found like, I don't know if you can see these, these like really disgustingly rusty springs. So I'm not really sure if I should rip them out or leave them in, but Nick knows a lot, my boyfriend. So he's here to kind of give me some guidance on if I should totally dismantle this whole thing or how to even get these out. So what do you think I should do here? I'm not sure if I should even be touching these without the rubs on. Okay, so something that I would do is I would just completely cut I already now, kind of ripped this. The middle section, get rid of the springs because we don't want that okay. anymore. Okay. We're going to turn this into more of a modern piece. Oh. Simply after everything is cleared from this, by cutting it out, you can mold a plywood piece at the bottom. Sort of fit it and then do like a foam. Yeah, so the way you're going to want to fit it is either with the handsaw, if you're really old school, you can do a circular saw, or once you cut it down with the first two, you can use a band saw and completely fit the shape. And then you can just use like corner brackets and then cover it with foam. These nails, pop these nails off. All these nails. You want to come and pull all these tacks out. All right, I might need to get some tools for that. Clean it up completely. You're going to sand down these edges. You're going to basically create the surface. So then you can add your plywood, but you're going to want to get these measurements and get like a rough shaped plywood going and then you can marry it So the it up. plywood we're putting on the back. You're gonna put it on the bottom. Hey guys, okay. So Nick just helped me pull out all those coils and the nasty metal strips and um, burlap backing that was on here. So now I'm left with this big hole. Ah, oh, it's way more work than I thought it would be, but it's okay, we're gonna get it done. So now I'm using just um, kind of like metal cutters, but not as strong. 
and I'm going in and pulling out all of these um, little nails just so I can clean up this whole thing. This is definitely way more challenging than I thought this restoration would be, but it's okay. We got Nick the Handyman to help me figure it all out. And I'm gonna get down and dirty right now, but I don't really think you guys wanna watch me pull out 300 nails, so I'll catch up. Still here, ripping out nails.